What's going on guys? So for about the last three years, I have been battling an addiction that has been compromising my future and my relationships. So when you go on adult sites, you may see ads for campsites. Well, sometimes I'd spend an hour or two on an adult site trying to find the perfect video. And then one day I finally caved in and wanted to see what the fuss about these campsites were. Probably the worst decision I've ever made because I got sucked in slowly but surely. Slowly over time, it started off with, you know, maybe one or two $10 purchases, tipping them out of $10 here and there. Innocent, nothing huge, nothing significant. Um, <clears throat> but after about three to six months of experimenting and visiting the, uh, these campsites, I realized myself going on it more and more frequently. Fast forward to the last, I wanna say eight months, every single month, I have been spending any and every last bit of extra money that I have come in monthly on campsites, on online paid porn, on models. And it has not only compromised my relationship, but my future. Luckily, I have a very understanding partner. You guys all know her as Nicole Drinkwater. And I finally had the courage to open up to her about it because I had no savings. I had nothing for my future, nothing. Um, and even at one point I was getting into a negative balance and I had to make excuses as to why I couldn't afford to go out to this nice dinner or why we couldn't take this trip here or why I couldn't do this or that. I had to make excuses because I wasn't ready to admit the truth. The truth is that I had been wasting all of my money on this campsite addiction. Uh, I don't see how it took me so long to realize how bad it got. And when I realized how bad it got, it was a case of every day saying, okay, this is the last time. And that kind of went on for months and months. Now, I came up with a system with Nicole after I opened up with her where every single morning she goes through all of my bank accounts. She knows where all my money comes in and where all of my money goes. Now we have built up that trust and it has been working. So for the last, I want to say two months we had the system in place. I haven't spent any money relating to anything that I was wasting all my money. How I came about to opening up about it to her was because I so desperately wanted to overcome it. I realized how much of it has consumed me. And not only while I was active on it, spending money in the moment, but even when I go to the gym and do other activities, I find myself constantly thinking about the next opportunity I would get to spend money. Um, and I was so embarrassed and humiliated to open up to her about this, that when I opened up, I had to have her stand behind me because I couldn't bear to look her in the face and tell her where all my money has been going. And it was the best decision I have made because as I said, it has saved our relationship. It has saved my future. I now have a savings um, and it had prevented me from having a uh, much worse lockdown, uh, much work experience, much worse experience of this pandemic had I not overcome this addiction. That was a guy by the name of Larry Wheels. And uh, he is a pro body builder. Had you seen that before now, Joel? Never seen it before. So what's your first impression of it? Uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, people go through these things and they're not taught how to properly deal with it. So they feel like they reach out to outer sources and like online, putting this online. So now I'm assuming this went viral and then sharing it with, you know, his girlfriend. It's just unfortunate that it comes down to that and he's not being taught how to handle it in a proper way. And what's unfortunate about it? It's unfortunate because when you when everybody knows about it, you know, they they, they attach that to your name. You know, or they look they look down upon you as poor you or, you know, people don't need to know your business like that. And then you know, maybe his girlfriend is, you know, she's, you know, doesn't see it as like a bad thing, but she'll always have that, you know, on him to know that 
you know, he, he had an issue or he had a struggle with this or this or that. So if he ever does overcome and try to, like, correct her or whatever the case is, she'll always kind of have that unless she overcomes that, which, Lord. So I just think it's unfortunate. And it doesn't seem like it's a setup against him, but it's it's a setup against him. Amazing. That's my expert, Joel. And Nick is telling me Larry's father left when he was a baby. His mother had a strain of men in his life, which she supposed financially. I mean, which she supported financially. Where are you getting this information from? Oh, from Larry. Uh, Larry describes these men as the worst of the bunch. He talked about one incident where his mother got in a fight with one of these men who has landed Larry in a foster care for a few years. And James say simp. <laughs> I don't know what simp means, but it's like beta. It's like the the millennial version of beta. Oh. So simp mean beta? Yeah, basically. You know, number one, men, males, do not put your business out there like that. You will be judged for the rest of your life. By some men, but especially by women. Do not put your business out there. That's horrible. This guy just set himself up to be judged by all women. Not all, but most. And whomever he goes, if he ever work at a job or get any kind of business with women, they're going to remember this and remind him of it. Number two, he felt uh, humiliated by having to tell his girlfriend that until he put her behind his back in order to tell her. That's because his consciousness was trying to guide him not to tell her that. He should not have ever exposed that to his girlfriend. He called her his partner. I hope he means like a real girl. <laughs> Uh, maybe meet a drag queen or something. It's kind of hard to call. He didn't say girlfriend. He said a partner. But the reason that it was humiliating because a man should never reveal his weakness to a woman like that, especially that kind of stuff, but not only. And that's why he should have followed his consciousness and not told her that. And just overcome it. Find a way to overcome it. And thirdly, now she's managing his money. She has control over him. And she has no respect for him at all. The man is supposed to be logical and stronger than the woman. Why does he have to go to her to control his money? He's not over that, that thing yet of looking at the site, adult camps websites. He's not over that. And the moment he veer out of it, do any little thing that she doesn't like, she's going to get on him about it. She will control him. She would never respect him because he's not a man. And how come, why is it that he's looking to her to guide him rather than the woman looking to him? But I understand him looking at his background there, his mother, if it's true. And all the men she brought into his life, where's his father? And the guy seems like a nice guy, but he's weak because he has not been told how to overcome that. Men, do not put your stuff out there. Women will judge you on it. They will call you molesters and, and uh, sex addicts and you use the women on the internet. She's never going to trust him. And even if she trusted him, she would never let him know so that she can control him. The rest, as long as he's with her, he's going to have to try to prove himself. And you can never prove yourself. The more you try, the more they're going to force you to try to suck life out of you until they destroy you. And then you get mad, you go do it anyway. And then, oh, I told you, I knew you were cheating. That's not the way you should do it, man. This is the Oprah kind of a way. But not the right way. <laughs> Poor guy. He just set himself up. He really did. He should somebody should have said, No, Larry. Don't do it, buddy. Don't tell her. Don't put this stuff out on a film like that. 
they were using against you down the road. The moment he run for governor, because you don't know what your life is going to offer as you move forward in life, they're going to pull that film out. The moment another woman look at him, she gonna, his girlfriend going to pull that film out. When he's walking down the street, he better look straight forward. And if there's another woman crossing the street in front of him, he better not move his eyes and look at her. His girlfriend is going to weigh him down with that. Men, that's not the way to do it. He just confesses weakness for all women to see. He has destroyed himself. But you can overcome it, but you must be born again, Larry. It's unfortunate that you did that to yourself, man. You will live to regret it. And plus, putting it out there is not saving him. His girlfriend is not saving him. She's not causing him to overcome anything. Putting it out there like that is not saving you. You set yourself up to be judged, especially by women. I'm just saying, do what you want. But I'm saying, you should never do that. Never, ever, 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 never, 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 ever, ever, never, 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 ever, but never. What? I have pictures. Huh? I have pictures of them on the Oh, never, ever, never, 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 but never. Who's that? So that's his. That's his girlfriend. How you know that's her? Um, he gave her name. Oh. Yeah, and then there's the picture of. Poor guy. Them two, at the beach. Um. She, I guess she's a some type of model, but she's kind of a... Ain't that much modern in the world. I know. She kind of wears a lot of uh, revealing clothing and stuff on. So she probably doesn't even see the porn stuff as wrong. Oh, no. She see it as wrong. Believe me. Well, she's probably more accepting to it, but use it against him. She's going to tr- control him with that like not going no. <laughs> He's going to live to regret that. Poor guy. Never, ever, ever tell a woman your weakness. I don't care if it's mama, girlfriend, drag queen friend, wife, sister, female cousin. Never tell a woman your problems. They don't have the answers for you. They'll take over your life. And you will be judged for the rest of your life. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe. And share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.